Stalking is an obsessive form of observation and pursuit in which a person fixates on another individual and becomes unable to let go of the object of their obsession. The prefrontal cortex, which normally regulates impulses and helps maintain awareness of personal boundaries, functions inefficiently in such subjects. The amygdala and cingulate cortex amplify emotional fixation, turning interest into an obsessive idea. The brain stops perceiving the other person as a separate individual and begins to see them as a symbol of its own unmet need for control, recognition, or emotional power. If we look deeper, the roots of stalking almost always trace back to early childhood when the basic models of attachment and control were first formed. In most subjects with stalking patterns, childhood was marked by emotional instability and unpredictability from their parents. For example, a mother might have been hyper-controlling, giving attention only when the child fully submitted or, on the contrary, emotionally cold and unavailable. The child's brain learns a painful association. Love must be earned, and control is the only way to avoid losing the attachment figure. This becomes a fixed pattern of anxious fixation. Stalking is often observed in subjects with serial type behavioral patterns. For them, the process of observation becomes part of a ritual, an element of preparation and emotional anticipation that can last for weeks or even months. It is a form of possession at a distance, a way to prolong the feeling of control. Their brains receive the same type of reinforcement from observing as they would from action itself, which makes stalking one of the most alarming precursors of behavioral escalation.